contract first, man. So here you go. Here's uh, $5 and a card to download an app. It's about Flat Earth. So what you do is you download the app on the front there. It's the Flat Earth Zodiac Clock app. And you watch the video in the bottom left corner. Five minute video. Uh, seven seven days in a row. And if you don't start to question your reality, then you got $5 out of it, right? Yeah. The app cost $3, so you just made $2. Or you could throw the card away and never look at it again. But we're all here from other, other parts of the country to do a, a conference for Flat Earth. And it sounds stupid when you first hear it Here because it's spinning. We're, we're taught, we're taught at a very young age. Before we even get to school, we see cartoons and how they debunk flat Earth, and now we live in a ball, you know, in uh, Sesame Street. Oh shut up! And then, <laughs> okay, so what happens is all of us when we first heard it, the original response is it's stupid. I'm going to debunk it. If you try to debunk flat Earth, that's how you become a flat Earther, because you think you know what the ball claims, but then when you hear what the ball claims and then you Test it for yourself, you realize there's right no curvature, there's no spin, you can't have air pressure next to a giant vacuum without a solid barrier. Nope. It defies physics. Everything they told you about the globe model is to enslave your mind to make you think there's no place else to go. Okay, this will give you an idea of what it looks like. Oh, check this, bro. You ever heard of Bitcoin? Yeah. All right, so well, there's a challenge on that app for yeah. free Bitcoin. Exactly. If you watch it, if you watch the video every day on that app, how many all? Are two weeks? Two weeks. And if you think you can prove the Earth's a globe, if you, the owner of the app, if you send him the proof, you can prove it. He'll give you three Bitcoins. Which uh, is which like 150 grand. Yeah. Like you have to prove it's it. Like 180 grand. Yeah. What are what are your two favorite proofs that the don't Earth would be a ball? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do you I like that answer. I just don't know. You know. Like everybody has like their own opinion, it's their own yeah, but, whatever. But opinion, uh, opinion is like well, a yeah. belief, yeah? Right. So if the Earth has physicality and we test it and it doesn't match up to the calculations, then it must be wrong. It's not about proving flat Earth, it's about disproving the globe model. Because if they say it's a certain measurement and we prove that it's not that measurement, then their claim is null and void. It's about, it's about real science. Test, prove, yeah. repeat. Science right. is experimentation. Is it fair you enough to say though that science. your friends or maybe you believe that the Earth is a globe and it's a solar system and things like that? Yeah. Is that fair enough? Yeah. Okay. So before we're even really able to speak and talk and walk, we're taught the globe Earth. Right. Right? We're taught that through TV, TV shows, movies, cartoons, our education, and things like that. Or so like really, a, it's like a, a dogmatic cream. idea, okay? Yeah. And it's just like being a Mormon or a Jew or a Christian or anything like that. That you're just taught this one point and you're right, right? But what we're offering is just another perspective that instead of what they taught us that the sun is, is, mo is stationary and that Earth is spinning, we're offering another cosmology that the Earth is stationary and not moving flat and goes on, in my opinion, infinitely forever. And the sun and the moon are moving. So does that? No, not Earth. And they're yeah. smaller and closer in the sky. Every day, right? Yeah. Well, Actually, all the objects in the sky, really essentially. Happening. Or it just looks like it's moving. My brother. But it's actually sitting still. And we feel like we're not moving, but we're actually spinning a thousand miles per hour at the equator going around the sun, and it just looks like that. Not only that, the, the amount of, the, the speed that you would be spinning at different plates on, on the alleged globe would be would differ based on how far away from the equator you are. literally be... Yeah, you'd spin really fast at the equator, and then towards the North Pole, you'd be spinning slower and slower. Just get on your merry go ahead and test it out. But you can't, you don't feel it if you go south. <laughs> Such a weak force. We've never, we've never seen this before. 
The ocean, when you see the ocean, you know, like there's like a round kind of looking thing. How do you explain Never. If you actually go, if you if you actually go out to an ocean, right? Right. And you're looking off in the horizon, it's flat forever from side to side. Right. What they say is it's falling away this way. But if that was true, if it was flat this way and round this way, the Earth would be a, a sausage. Okay. But what in reality, like you'll see stuff disappear over the horizon, and they say you're going they're going over the curve. But if you get optical zoom, like binoculars, telescope, or a high-powered zoom camera, you can bring that object back. Meaning it hasn't gone over the curve; it just disappears into your perspective. Do you have any questions? Like, for example, if you have any questions that you would want to ask a flat earther that you can't think of, the app that I gave him has a spot where you can ask questions. Okay. There's a part on the right all, side of the all app, the same all and time. they all have the same questions. I get all this all the time. Where's the edge? Where does the sun go? Where's What's underneath the flat earth? Why do ships go over the horizon? Satellites, how do seasons work? So these are all typical questions that we get. I've been doing this for five years, and these are all the real basic questions that we get because I used to be just like you. And until somebody offered the information, like, hey, have you ever heard about flat earth? What if the earth is flat? That never crossed my mind. I'll be honest with you, it never crossed my mind. It never crossed my mind until somebody asked me. This is what I want to tell you guys. This is the app. If you have Android, there's a code on the back for a free download. If not, give it to someone you know who has Android and come to download it. You don't want to be like the one guy that's crazy or the girl that's crazy and you care what everyone thinks. And when you're younger, it's really easy to get time for that. Like, well, what are the precious kicks? I got to be on IG and get some followers. Don't worry about what other people think, man. Other people don't know anything about it. You've learned more right here than anyone else that makes money you about. In fact, we stand on the truth. Don't worry about what other people think. We've learned more about the globe model since we became flat earthers because we didn't really know what the globe claims until we tried to debunk it, right? So we're trying to prove that Trying to the prove the globe, it's impossible. Yeah, you're trying to prove the Earth's a globe, so you look at, okay, what are the claims of the globe? I'm gonna shut these flat earthers down. And when you hear the claims and then you try to test it for yourself, it's like, okay, that argument doesn't work, let me find another one. And the, the more you try to prove the globe, the more the globe falls flat. The sun being 93 million miles away, uh, 400 times larger than the moon. You know, the sun and the moon are the same size in the sky. One is not 400 times further away. It's not 400 times larger. There are two lights in the sky that are essentially the same size. And they rotate above our They're opposite polarities. The sun gives off heat, and they don't tell you this, but the moon actually gives off cold. Which doesn't make sense if it's a reflection of the sun. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It should be neutral or It gives off its own energy. But it literally puts off a cold light. If you stand in the shadow during a full moon, test it for yourself. You see a full moon, it's real bright, like you can read by it. Get under uh, a shadow so the moon can't hit you, and you'll instantly get warmer. It's crazy until you look into it. You'll also notice that the moon is perfectly luminescent. Uh, all the way across the face of the moon, it's gonna shine. Uh, if it were reflecting light off another object and it were actually a sphere, it would have a hot spot. A there would only be spot. one part of the moon that would be glowing because that would be the part that's reflecting light. The rest of it wouldn't be evenly lit. Yeah, it would go from white to grayer to grayer to grayer to black. There'd be a but gradient. The, but even when it's a half moon, it goes completely lit to completely black. It you never transitions. You also only see one face of the moon. You only see a flat surface of the moon, like always. The same see face. how there's like a shiny part on it? Yeah. It's brighter than the rest of it. So the moon is evenly lit all the way across. So it could be a flat surface for all we know, but so for sure if it's, it's even a light. Physical. Yeah, if you don't, it's we don't even know if it's a physical. We generally object. believe that it's a light, but I, I'm explaining that it's not a sphere. Yeah, right. Well, thank you so much. No worries. My pleasure. Have a great day. All of our pleasure, I guess. <laughs> They offer them the prison. There you go, man. They only care about the So, are you guys going to be ready to connect? Do you think that's why we're going to make music?
younger generation will win the game. It's a celebration. Because everybody's on a different Party poopers. Nice. How about that? What was this? Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah! So are we going to do the...